What's up? I'm Sam from Wargasm, at Download 2024, and you're watching EMP. Uh, well, we're doing our like European festival tour at the moment, which is kind of cool. Where have we been? We've been to Nova Rock in Austria. Been to Rock for People in Czechia, which is like probably the best festival in Europe. Sorry, da well, we're not in the EU anymore, are we? So, like, does Download count as a European festival? This is the best festival in the UK. I'm just messing this up. Uh, I don't know. Follow us. I've got a song coming out next month with a ridiculously big collab that's really gonna fucking confuse everyone. Woo! What's in a Wargasm Festival survival kit? Um. Ooh, what have we got? Uh, baby oil, just so you can be lubricated when you need to. Loads of cigarettes, just a couple of spare lighters, Rennies, and a vast array of sprays, lotions, powders, and potions. My favorite piece of, from another band, my favorite piece of band merch memorabilia from another band. Oh, actually, it's, uh, it's uh, a 1992 Donington Monsters of Rock t-shirt that my manager got for me that I wore on stage here in 2022. Because I thought it was cool. I like really like vintage T-shirts. I've got a massive Iron Maiden collection, but yeah, definitely my uh, Donington Monsters of Rock T-shirt. Thank you, Ian, for getting me that shirt. It's awesome. The weirdest thing I've seen at a festival. I mean, there's a lot of weird things at fest. Lately, yesterday, I saw so many like old guys, shriveled little willies, pissing into cups during Pantera. It was pretty horrible, and like. It's, the worrying thing isn't the ones I did see, it's like, how many did I not see that I might have brushed past when I was squeezing through the Pantera crowd, do you know what I mean? You're all making like a gross face, but like, yeah, but like, it was close to me. Like, it's disgusting in your mind, for me it was disgusting in reality. A comfort series. I like nature shows. Uh, I'm, it's like a recommendation for people. Uh, there's a show called The Midnight Gospel on Netflix. We were chatting about it last night at a hotel. It's really cool. It's kind of like a podcast where they like interview people who can kind of, I don't know, have some insight on like the human psyche and then they animate it and it's like a space podcast. But yeah, the Midnight Gospel, that's cool. That's quite relaxing, you know. Oh, and Battlestar Galactica, but you have to have the Japanese Netflix. You need a VPN for that, but that's cool. Uh, the last book that I read was quite a while ago, actually. Maybe like a month ago was The Doors of Perception and Heaven and Hell by Aldous Huxley, because my brother got it for me. It's what uh, Jim Morrison read and then decided to call his band The Doors. And uh, it's good. It's very, very druggy, but it's, it's good. What have I been listening to? Uh, listening to Ad Adrian Lenker's new album, the, the, the singer of Big Thief. She's done a solo record and it's uh, heart wrenching and beautiful and amazing. Top three favorite movies of all time. That's a tough one. Uh, Gladiator, the extended one. If, can I take like all of the Lord of Rings as one movie? Because if you just don't stop, then that kind of counts. Oh no, let's let's do let's be honest. Uh, I like Gladiator. True Romance is um, one of my total favourites, and Blade Runner. I have not been to a Comic Con. I have dressed up before. I'm not willing to disclose as whomst. Uh, if I had to go, I'd probably pay one of those people to do, who do like all the armor and stuff to make like a fucking Warhammer Space Marine suit or something, but I don't know if I'd be very good because I'd probably go around bashing people, you know. I'd like to be a superhero, but let's be honest, I'd probably be a supervillain. I don't know. The Americans had that like gun in the Cold War that gave you a heart attack. It might be cool to just be able to instantly give people heart attacks or maybe like control the water content. Just like, you know, like Avatar, if you could control water, would that mean you could control the water content of a person, which means you could control people? Not in like a creepy way, I would just use them to do crimes and violence. Like, not in a, or maybe like a, a time pause thing, you know, because sometimes you have like a big night or, you know, you want to hang out at a festival and you got to sing the next day, but like your voice only heals so fast. If I could just be like, yo, I know we only got four hours of sleep at this hotel, but there you go, look, now everyone can have eight hours sleep. That would be a pretty useful power. And that might make me a superhero to my own team. It, then things get difficult though, like does that affect aging? If I paused, my, if I paused time throughout my life, you know, when y'all are, when, when are 30, would I be 40? Is that how it would work? And if I pause time, does electricity work? 
I, I'm still moving. Can I still breathe oxygen? Can I drink? Would, would a tap flow? Gravity. I don't know if any of this fucking works. None of these work. I just, my power would be a, a Glock. That would be a good power. I would just have a gun. Like Batman, but poor. I did get stuck in the in the universe of the last video game I played. I got I've been like playing loads of Halo, just like not that I've had time to do it before we left for tour. I just like replayed all the Halo games, and like, I suck at them now. I'm older. Uh, but I've been like missioning it, like like man, I got like 15 minutes before like I have to leave. Like quick, 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 go, go, go. And uh, yeah, I just got a bit messed up with my mate and um, kind of fell down the hole and. Turns out I called someone in the States and was like, yo, I really need to get off this like alien drop ship. And uh, my mate was kind of on the same level, so he was also stuck in the Halo universe. It took us a few days to get out of that one. It was a bit weird. It happens though, don't worry about it. Sit down for a chat with a fictional character. Uh, Shinji's dad, Gendo from Evangelion. I'd be like, how the fuck do I get me one of those mechas? One of those blessed flesh god machines. Because then politics could be done my way. Peace belongs to the man with the biggest fighting robot. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to uh, any Wargasm fans for checking us out. N new, new and old for coming to hang out with us at these festivals. Thank you for always catching me. And uh, we're going to announce a fuck ton of shows. So... We'll see you this year and next and the year after and the year after that. Peace.